In this video, how to update BIOS on BIOSTAR motherboards. First, determine the motherboard model, release date, and BIOS version. Alternatively, in the BIOS setup, you can also check the model name and BIOS version. Next, visit BioStar's homepage and search for your motherboard. If your motherboard has multiple versions, please select the correct one. Go to the download menu and download the latest BIOS update file. You can download the .bss BIOS update file directly. Now, Insert a USB device into the computer and format it using the FAT32 format. Copy the downloaded BIOS update file to the USB drive. Next, restart the computer and press the F12 key repeatedly to enter the flasher utility. Browse through each drive to find the USB drive with the BIOS update file. Once you locate it, press Enter to continue. Since BIOS flashing can be risky, it is highly recommended to carefully review everything before proceeding. Press Y to update the BIOS. Updating the BIOS could take a while, so please be patient. Press Y to restart the computer once the flashing is complete. After the BIOS is updated, you must load the optimized defaults. Press the delete key to access the BIOS setup. Press F3 to load the optimized default settings. Press F10 to save the changes and restart the computer. As you can see, the BIOS is updated to the latest version. Additionally, you can restart the computer and access the BIOS again to verify if the update was successful. Alternatively, if you don't have a USB drive available, you can update the BIOS using your hard disk. First, right-click on the Windows Start icon and open the Disk Management tool. Next, shrink the C partition to create a new partition. A partition size of 100 megabytes is enough for the BIOS update process. Right-click on the newly unallocated partition and create a new one.
This step is very important. Change the file system to FAT32 because BIOS updates only support the FAT32 format. Now, copy the BIOS update file to the newly created partition. Restart the computer and access the BIOS flasher utility. Browse to find the FAT32 partition with the update file. Then proceed with the update as usual. Once done, you can delete the small partition in Windows. Then, extend the C partition to reclaim the space. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.